Hi guys, as you guys can see, I have a new little fair baby. Excuse his fur, someone has just been stroking him. So, yeah, so I have bought myself a long head male Syrian hamster. So, his story isn't the most complex, his story isn't the most great, like it's just one of them basic little stories. So, his story kind of began when I lost bacon. So, I have been looking for a long head male Syrian now for a year, haven't been able to find one. I've seen two. But it was when I wasn't really looking for a hamster, which is really frustrating. So, yeah, so I found this little guy the day after my birthday on the 23rd of October. So I, so I lost Pickle and Ash not too long ago now, and it, it was two weeks later, and I was like, I just, I feel like adopting and, like, or buying another hamster. I was just like, I have the time, I have the energy, I can bring some else into my home that needs a good home and all that stuff. I originally tried to run rescues so they only had female short hairs for some reason and I've got two females and it's not like I don't want females it's just I've had female hamsters for so long and there is a slight personality difference and I just want someone who's a little bit more laid back. So then I just started randomly ringing pet shops. Only two places had long haired males in. Um, literally there was only two hamsters that were long haired males. So there's a place that was closer, which I'm not too much of a big fan of. They they don't have the correct ethics, in my opinion, or the correct pet care, in my opinion. So I kind of stayed clear of them. Then there was a place in Widnes. It, it's a local garden centre who is not that far away from me. It's about half an hour drive. So they get their animals from good breeders, from ethical breeders that are just kind of five to ten minutes away from the garden centre. Some of them are a little bit further. So these hamsters tend to be a lot more confident because they were brought up by breeders and yeah. And also in the garden centre they are kept in kind of like 80 cent, like around about the same size as this, maybe slightly smaller. Um, tanks style cages and they all have an eight inch wheel, a hide and a tunnel. And the eight inch wheel I believe is the Savix something wheel but it's covered but yeah and so they are really really well taken care of they were on either aspen shavings or kill and dried shavings they get a load of tissue nesting material they get chew toys they get supreme food which is really really good actually around here so they are really well taken care of and the people actually know what they're talking about which is shocking i've act they don't recommend six inch wheels for hamsters which is amazing they kind of go eight to bigger so yeah so I decided that I was going to go get this little guy his litter which was quite a big litter I think there was eight or nine in his litter I believe they were all at the pet shop they were born back at the end of August so he's around about eight weeks eight weeks to seven weeks old at the moment so yeah so his Two of his sisters were long haired. One of them looked like him. One of them was a dom spot. Um, his brothers were brown. And I'm not sure about his other sister. I'm not too sure. So I only really got I only really got to see three of them or four of them. And then there was little Walter who wouldn't get out of bed. And yeah, when he came out, I, I've never been so in love with hamster. I also really like red eyed hamsters. It's just the thing that I've always really liked in hamsters. So when I saw him, I was like, you are coming home with me. <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't actually know what Walter's birth certificate is. I, he comes with like a mini birth certificate. You have to tick. One thing I like about this bit with the garden centre has the pet shop in is that they make you like tick things off so they make sure you have an appropriate size cage because you've got to sometimes show pictures and stuff like that. Um, that you have the correct wheel, that you have the correct food and they kind of say, hey look, we have this if you want to buy it, large dodge dodge. So we had to kind of like take all that off and over vet care and over how much it roughly costs. No pet shop by me is that thorough. So that's one thing I've actually really fallen in love with and I know people who've got pets from there and they have had really very little to non health issues which are just caused by genetics. While compared to pets at home hamsters I've had, they are really prone to quite a few health issues. So yeah, so that is Mr. Walter. He's also very, very confident for a hamster that I've only had for four days. He comes out to see us whenever we're kind of walking past his cage. He comes out. He is always out, as you guys can see. I'm in the room. I'm walking past him. I've got a camera in my hand. Doesn't really seem that bothered. He's quite chilled. He's actually reminds me quite a lot of, like, bacon in personality. 
he's not as interested in the camera as what Bacon ever was, but if you see the difference between him and, per se, Poppy as a baby, or any other pet Tim Hamster Red as a baby, they are quite shy for quite a while, but with him, I've noticed he's just quite, yeah, okay. But all the babies in the garden centre were like that. Also, another thing I absolutely love about this garden centre is they separate their baby Syrians as soon as they come into the shop. So, around six weeks. So that is one thing which I which I really, really love because I don't know how many times I've been into the legs of pets at home and you just hear hamsters screaming, like attacking each other or you can see like little cuts on them because they've grabbed each other or it's just, it's a very risky thing keeping Syrians together. Yes, you can keep baby Syrians together for a certain amount of time. Sometimes baby Syrians need separate quicker than others some days. I remember once actually I saw someone buy, there was three female Syrians in this like tank style cage and what ended up happening was is they took kind of like the female that kind of kept the other two in control slightly. As soon as they took her out, the two females just grabbed each other and started shaking. It was the most horrible noise. That's why I actually really like this pet shop because they separate them very young from each other so they don't really have to worry about that. But yeah, Walter is only going to be staying in this Alaska cage temporarily. It does meet over the minimum of 450 square inches. It's about 500 and something, I believe. So, yeah, so he will be going into a Barney at some point. It's just, this cage is a lot easier for taming. Because if you look at the size of the Barney doors, they're very small. While if you look at the size of the Alaska door, it's a lot easier to tame a hamster. And so once he's fully tamed, he will be moving into the um, Barney cage. So, yeah, so he probably will need to go on another substrate. Because what I have noticed is his compared to him and Bacon... I think Bacon was 9 to 10 weeks old when I got Bacon, and his hair wasn't as fluffy, it wasn't as long as what Walter's already is. I'm sorry, yes, his name is Walter, by the way. I don't know where I got that name from, I just really like old people names for animals lately. So yeah, so this is little Walter. So, yeah, but I'm kind of looking for a good Syrian long hair bedding, because Bacon could barely be on Megazorb or Easy Bed or Orbeos, because it just stuck to him. Like a magnet. I did use Back to Nature and a cardboard bedding, but I'm kind of looking into other beddings. I know Carefresh can stick to long heads quite a bit. So, yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions for that, please comment down below. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and yeah. So, that is little Walter, who is eight weeks old. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.